Hey, what is up everybody? This is Jesus of Average Joe Retix. Uh, this is basically an introduction video as well as an update video. Um, I had a lot of uh, requests uh, from friends and personal friends and people on Facebook about uh, my 2011 Het Amel Sun Tigers. Um, so first, let's start with the introduction. Um, let's go. Now, the snake I'm going to be pulling out right now, uh, let me see, is a beautiful 50% uh, super dwarf male, and he is 100% head blizzard. Uh, I have a pair of these. I was lucky to get a pair of these from Matthew Martin of uh, Monster Cages. And uh, the father to this pair is a Wild Court uh, male Exanthic Pure Super Dwarf. And that was taken to a purple albino female. Uh, so these. This pair here, these are 09s. Um, this pair here should produce, hopefully, uh, the first, if not uh, the second, uh, Blizzard Retix. Um, and unlike uh, prehistoric pets, uh, Snows, which are Super Dwarf and Jampea, these are pure Super Dwarf. So, uh, the blizzards and the resulting uh, offspring and babies uh, should stay quite small as opposed to uh, super jams like prehistoric pets or jampeas. Um, but this is the male. He's about five and a half, probably about five and a half feet long. Uh, eats like a, a monster. And, um, Let's show you the female. And here's the female. Uh, she's getting ready to go into shed, I can tell, because she's getting kind of cloudy on her stomach. But this is the female. She's about six six and a half feet um, and she is a sibling to the male that I have like I said these are 09's um, she's also 50% uh, super dwarf 100% head for blizzard I really hope to prove this project out as I've seen the father and the father is really really wicked man um, what else do I want to you guys? Uh, well, actually, uh, the producer of these, Matthew Martin of Monster Cages, has a an 07 pair um, that he hasn't bred yet. Uh, I guess because Super Dwarfs are notorious for being um, late breeders. So, yeah, this is my pair of. 09 Super Dwarf well 50% Super Dwarf 100% uh, Het Blizzards and once again the father was a Wild Court uh, Exanthic Super Dwarf and the mother was a Purple Albino so this is a really interesting project that I have uh, not too many people have this project in their collection or uh, in their hand, so I'm, I'm I feel really good about this project. I, I really feel as though it'll prove out uh, the exanthic to be uh, genetic. As uh, I can see, the father in in these babies, so I really really have a good feeling that it'll prove out. So now an, an update real fast. Let's put her back in her cage. 
an update on my Het Amel Sun Tigers. Now, with this clutch, I've had a uh, a varying, well, a, a a big degree of sizes in this clutch. Um, I have some snakes that are huge, you know, for, to be three months old, they are huge compared to their brothers and sisters. And I'll give you a prime example, I'll show you right now. Uh, my whole back Sun Tiger Het Amel male, and uh, I'll show you uh, in comparison to a brother of his, which is a, a normal 100% uh, Het Amel. So let me get these out real fast for you. And I'll show you the size difference to these guys. And he knocked his water over, which is smart. And I'm going to have to clean that out. And here's his brother. Just to give you guys a size difference. And they're all feeding uh, every five days on small rats right now. And it's just amazing the size difference of these two. Like that. Uh. So here's the normal male. Here's my <laughs> breeder, well, hold back, uh, sun tiger male. And this is just to give you a size reference. Look at the size difference between the two. And they both have been eating. Uh, since they first came out the egg, uh, neither one has missed a meal. Like I say, they're both uh, feeding on small rats. But just look at the size difference between this normal, this normal male, and this male sun tiger. He's actually my whole back, and uh, he, like I said, never misses a meal. This little boy will eat you out of house and home. And so, so does this little normal guy. He doesn't miss a meal neither. Um, but this guy here, I'm actually really quite glad I held him back. And here's my hand for size reference. Try not to get bit. But, uh, yeah, this, this clutch has really been weird. I don't know what's going on with uh, the sizes of them, but it's, it's really been a weird clutch for me, and as well as a fun clutch. It's, this was a, a very fun project for me. Uh, I produced some, some really, really wicked uh, sun tigers and sun fires in this project, and, um... Like I said, it's just, it's been really fun for me. And I cannot wait to take this guy back to his mama. And we're going to produce Amel Super Tiger Sunfires and Amel Sun Tigers back in. So I, I really can't wait for that project to come through. Um, really glad I'm, I'm able to see it through to its completion. Um, I work really hard for it, and uh, thanks so much. Uh, this is actually the end of the, the update and the introductions, so uh, stay tuned. Um, I'll be doing some updated uh, videos on my Mama A Male Tiger, as well as an updated video on my male Lavender uh, Motley Tiger who's uh, growing like a weed right now. Uh, he'll be... He's almost a year old. He was hatched out in September of uh, 2010 by Bob Clark. So, um... Thanks for watching, guys. And I hope you enjoyed the, the little video. And I'll catch you guys later.